Now we're going to use a little tire compression tool. You have to line up your holes. Then you put your front piece in. Hold a little bit of pressure. And where this is set up, you can see they're different lengths. So you have to put this on here and get it lined up here. And you gotta line it up so that it hits on a couple of the the back wheel and yet you can still get a couple screws. Then you tighten this down. Be careful so that you don't knock it off of your the back of your wheel nuts there. Back of your rim where it threads in. And just be gentle as you tighten it in until you get a little pressure on it. Just check it, make sure it ain't gonna fall off. Make sure you still got access. And just tighten it down. Just checking to make sure nothing don't move. This is appear to. Okay. Now we got that, if you can see, it's all the way down. So now you don't need any longer screws to put it together. Your bead is nice. That tool makes it a lot easier uh, to put it together. I'm hoping I can find one of these for the SCX24s. And I think this one only works on uh, two twos and one nines, maybe. We'll have to see. But anyway, now we're going to pass it off to Jason. He's going to put our screws in. Jason's using his Dewalt. Gotta be very careful. Cordless it. screwdriver driver. He'll get in which ones he can, and then we'll take that piece off and put the rest of them. Sorry about the air conditioner noise, but it's hot here. Hot. <laughs> <laughs> We're, this is uh, our road uh, super shafty videos. This is my class three build we're doing. We got a class three build, a sporty build, a class one build, a class two build. Actually, a couple class uh, one and class two builds that we're gonna be doing. Be we're gonna have a lot of build videos for you guys. And, you know, like and subscribe. And uh, we got a lot of guys watching the videos. We need more likes and subscribes. And uh, we're going to, uh, like we right got now. some some more stuff that's gonna be coming around. We're going to be doing the giveaways. Yeah, I got it tight. You may have to have that piece to take it off. Probably wouldn't have to get it that tight just to get them. Look you could have pulled it the rest barely out. Moved it. But now, you don't even need this. No, now you can take that you off. You need to put two screws in it. Yep, you use that to get your first two, and it keeps your bead seated. Uh, you know, it keeps it from walking off. That's actually well worth it. Yeah, this one here is just a little Amazon special I think I gave. But as you can see right here, we got the screws down. I mean, practically all the way down. Yep. I mean, I'm just going to, I didn't want to torque them too hard with this pair of As you can see, made in China. So this was about a $5 tool, uh, but it's definitely well worth it. 